Go. Pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021 and extended again by Chapter 2 of the Acts of 2023, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so in the following manner by emailing Steve McCarthy at McCarthyS at AmherstMA.gov. That's M-C-C-A-R-T-H-Y-S at AmherstMA.gov. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. In the event we are unable to do so for reasons of economic hardship and despite best efforts, we will post on the Amherst website an audio or video recording, transcript, or other comprehensive record of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. And with that done, we'll call the meeting to order at 5.39 p.m. and take a roll call. Dylan? Here. Gaston is here. Here. Okay. Okay. And I'm here. And so we are three present and two absent. Hallie and Doug are absent. Um, all right. So the next thing up is public comment. And this is public comment unrelated to anything on the agenda. If you have any of that kind of public comment, please raise your hand by pressing the raise hand button at the bottom of your screen. And I don't see anything. Okay. So next first up is item three licenses, a liquor license transfer application, Cushwoman LLC doing business as Cushman Market and Cafe 491 Pine Street. And Steve, is there someone here to? Yes, I have uh, um, invited the two applicants to join. You want, me to, you want me to get going? Yeah, why don't you get okay, going? Yeah, sure. Right, thanks. Yep. Uh, for the record, Tom Reedy, attorney with Bacon Wilson here in Amherst, here on behalf of Cush Woman LLC uh, and its application for a transfer of an existing off-premises uh, beer and wine license uh, up at 491 Pine Street, which is known as Cushman Market, with me, manager of record and also hopefully soon to be owner of the market, uh, Frida Peters. Um so, I mean, quite simply, what you see is what you get here. So I, I, I think everyone's familiar with Cushman Market, uh, 491 Main Street. It's got the, the market section. Part of that section uh, in the front of the store has a beer and wine selection. And then as you go to the back of the store, there's a cafe. Uh, Frida and her sister, Molly, have the, the real estate and the business under contract to purchase. Uh, we are working through financing currently. We expect to have a firm mortgage commitment early next week, maybe Tuesday next week. I just talked to the lender. Uh, we've been through the Zoning Board of Appeals for uh, the management plan, and, and they had approved in, uh, the management plan and said we didn't need any additional approvals from them. And so our last stop is here uh, with you for a transfer of the license from the existing license holder to Cushwoman. Um I think, you know, and Mr. McCarthy can talk about a couple of maybe outstanding items. We are waiting for a uh, certificate of good standing from the Department of Revenue for the transferor and the same thing for the Department of Unemployment Assurance. Uh, Bob Spencer, if you're familiar with Bob, he's an attorney in town as well. He represents the seller. Uh, I frankly just asked him when Steve emailed me, I want to say Tuesday and, you know, yesterday was a holiday. So we don't have them today. Um, so we would ask for any approval condition upon providing that material to you, you know, in a reasonable amount of time uh, before you actually provide that to the ABCC. They're not going to issue any license without it anyways. And then also, uh, we just today provided an updated letter because there is a pledge of license being requested here. So Frida's financing with Greenfield Savings Bank. And Greenfield provided an updated letter saying that they are requiring a pledge of license to as the collateral um, to secure the loan. So we provided that. Steve also had asked for a note. I, I'll have a draft note. So we haven't been through financing yet, so we don't have the note. Um, we will have that early next week as well that I could share with uh, Mr. McCarthy and the board. Um, Frida would be the manager of records spending all her time. We put 40 hours, but we're sure it's going to be more. Um, she's got uh, some hospitality experience with, with catering. Um, and right now she works for a, I think it's a cannabis company 
uh, uh, remotely. So I think she's eager to start this new phase of life. Um, uh, Molly and uh, Frida have set up a, a separate LLC to be the landlord. And so they have a lease between uh, their real estate entity and then the business entity. And we're asking for this license to go into Cush Woman, which is the business entity. And the market is going to stay the same. They're going to have the same offerings, the cafe, same thing. And it's still going to be called Cushman, even though uh, creatively Frida has has made her LLC Cush Woman. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. Frida's here. She's happy to answer any questions as well. Uh, but like I said, kind of what you see is what you get with this one. All right. Thank you. Uh, any questions? Dylan. Uh, yeah. So just so I understand this correct, um, the reason we're looking to have this license approved conditionally today, while there's a lot of things outstanding, is just because there's a financing component that is conditional on us approving this license. Chicken and the egg. Yeah, you, you've you got it. And okay. uh, uh, I hate the phrase, but I'll say not for nothing. I'm away next week. And I understand you may be having a hearing next week. And I've tried my best to not have any. I've, I've told clients I can't appear next week because I'm with my family. So that was one of the other reasons as well. If I may just jump in. Yeah. Also, uh, Tom covered everything missing from the application. We also have not been able to send it to the police chief and building commissioner for approval yet. Um, waiting for those outstanding um, things. And that, that meeting he, uh, he refers to next week is the possibility the uh, bid has submitted a application for their um, summer concert series on the weekend of the 4th of July, which will um, not be, uh, uh, which, you know, we would not have a meeting before then. So that may be something the board considers. Okay, thank you. Any other questions, comments, uh, guests? On? Yeah, um, Steve, I, my understanding is we, we can't issue a license to someone who doesn't have a property interest in uh, to, for the, establishment where the license would be connected to. So isn't this just a little uh, premature? Uh, what do you mean by property interest? I mean, with that, there's no lease, there's no current, there's no current right to the property of the applicant, is there? There is a unsigned lease from the, um, I believe, that, as Tom said, they're going to be forming a second business entity that would be, um, that would be, uh, you know, the, the, the landlord, um, they do have a unsigned lease from between those two um, entities and the purchase and sale agreement. Um, it is not signed yet. Sometimes you'll see one that it specifically calls out the conditional aspect. This one is um, is is not written that way. I believe it's still unsigned. So we have, I mean, Gaston, we have a, a signed purchase and sale for the real estate. We have a signed per, uh, asset purchase agreement for the business assets. So that gives us the right to pursue what we're pursuing. And if you'd like evidence of that, we'd be happy to provide. No, but I mean, if you're, if the financing falls through, there's no, uh, there's no, we, we, there's no, uh, this is, this won't work, right? Correct. Yeah. If the financing falls through, unless Frida comes up, maybe she's going to play some scratch tickets tonight. But other than that, uh, yeah, I would think that what we would do is then seek just a, a withdrawal of the application, even if it's in with the ABCC. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I'm just not sure why we why why do we need to the the this, bank said that they need our approval in order to give the financing. One of the conditions of their financing is bank approval. Okay, um, is that I, in the packet? Pardon me. Yeah, yeah. Is I that just sent it to Steve because um, he wanted it rightly so spelled out that they're requiring a pledge of the license and so their commitment um, evidence is that they need that. It was, I think, Gaston. It was sent this afternoon. Yeah. Right before okay. the meeting, the pledge is in there. No, but the pledge, the pledge is not the. No, yeah, the, not that thing. I mean, the, the other. It's thing. not the. Um, it's not where the bank says that they need. They won't get. I mean, I guess the question is, what other conditions are open besides our license to get the financing? I don't know that there are any as far as the... I expect but do you know to, that there are no other is my question? I cannot definitively say there are no others besides this. I have not seen the commitment letter. Um, okay. Can the, can the applicant answer the question? Frida, do you know, have you heard from Michelle if 
I mean, you've done the phase one and I think that's fine. We've done title. That's fine. We've been through the ZBA as far as, you know, I'm concerned. Um, you know, they've done the appraisal. I, I don't see where the issue would be, but I don't know if you know anything else from talking to Michelle. No, the it's currently in underwriting um, and just going through that process right now. So everything has been submitted. Um, I'm waiting to hear from the underwriting department to kind of answer any questions that they have from us. Um, so, so you don't have a commitment letter yet? Correct. Dylan? I, mean, I guess... I guess my question here, because I mean, it, it it sounds like it's all moving in that direction, and of uh, uh, you know, this is something legitimate. Um, I guess my my question here is: Is there any reason, Steve, if we were to can we even do a conditional license with so much outstanding? Kind of, where's the threshold? One where we we can't, and are we beyond that? We could issue. A provisional license and then if so i mean i'm i'm fine with provisional license it, it seems like today if you get x y and z it's fine with me rather than coming back in a month with x y and z to me it's kind of all the same i guess it's really a question of is there some reason that we we couldn't is it at is it at a point where we can't approve it if we wanted to well it would not be um it would not be a provisional license or, or provisional approval would be you know the board conditional or however yeah the board is voting to uh you know give their blessing on um approving the license once these conditions of you know submitting these uh these things have been met um and that's really up to the board's discretion i guess as to um at what threshold they would want to do that i mean i don't have any problem with those conditions it's really the it's the real estate that i'm that i'm less um comfortable with because we don't, there's not, there's, there isn't even a commitment letter right now. Not in evidence anyway, so to speak. Yeah. I mean, we don't. So, I mean, I was just looking through my emails cause I was corresponding with the lender today. She said from Greenfield Savings Bank. So they're uh, funding locally. I am working on the commitment right now. And that was at 518. So I know they're, they're working on it. Uh, and we do, and I can provide Steve evidence of, uh, a, a right uh, site control, I guess we could say more more broadly. Is the current owner willing to lease to the applicant if the deal falls through? Well, that's a good question. Um, I don't know the answer to that. We have not. I think we've always just kind of kept our head down and said, "Yeah, this is all the right." Well, I, I yeah, I I mean, I. I um, it seems it seems premature to me, but I I will go with the with the majority's judgment here. Okay. Doug, any questions about it or an opinion? No, I think I have the same concerns. You know, it's like how how conditional is too conditional, right? Um, at the moment, and and in some ways, you know, I think in the broader scheme, all things lining up the way they should. There's no, I don't have any issues with the the license. I think it's really about do we put either them or us in in a situation that's a little too uncomfortable um and i think uh the i mean i know you know tom's indicated his wanting to be on vacation next week or whatever so good for you uh and i know people wanting to sort of button things up as best we can i just didn't know if that made um you know i guess one question is you know are we going to meet next week because we have some things we need to do relative to separate issues. If that's the case, if we could wait a week, that might button up a few of these loose ends that make us a little less uncomfortable. I just also don't want to create delays that, you know, I mean, a week's not a lot of time and it can be a lot of time, you know, if you're trying to keep things moving in a, in a pretty active, quick way. So uh, Steve, can you tell us about whether, whether we might be meeting next week? So, uh, I mean, if the board, so there was an application submitted by the bid um, for the summer concert series, I believe, you know, Gabrielle has left this year and then their interim director, Liz Larson, just recently departed for a new position as well. So um, they were pretty late in getting their application for the July 5th summer concert series event. Um, you know, that was 
submitted after the board's guidelines for um, such applications to be taken. So the board's under no obligation to make a special meeting, but the board could choose to do so. That could be at the beginning of the week after next as well. Um, and that's really at the discretion of the board. Um, and I think we would have to set a, uh, I guess our next date after that would be the 11th, our next regularly scheduled date. Yeah, I think the thing I'm thinking is is um, I mean, this is maybe a question for Tom and, and Frida a little bit. It's just you know if if we waited a week, let's say we met next Thursday and and took this up, because um, I think you know your commitment letter is literally probably on your desk for 9 a.m. tomorrow, um, which is probably the most critical piece that's that's kind of we're gapped on at the moment. Um, you know, does that impinge upon the, you know, you guys progressing through the rest of the process too much? From, if I could, from my perspective, I don't think so, because my sense would be Steve's not sending this off to the ABCC until we have the certificate of good standing um, from DUA, DOR, and then building commissioner and police chief sign off. So I would guess we're probably like, is, if we can move, and I think concert to have all of those things completed so that, you know, next week, if it is just, yes, these, this material was presented, we feel comfortable, let's issue this. I think that'd be fine. Frida has an outside date of August 15th to get all of these things. And so my only fear, I mean, you folks are great. It's the ABCC and they've typically been taking about 30 days. So just to keep that in mind, next week is okay. You know, when we start to get into July a little bit and with su the summer, that's where I get a little bit um, more uncomfortable. But I think, and Frida, you know, let me know. But I, okay. I think we could certainly try to make the commission feel comfortable. We're not trying to push you into a decision here. Yeah, I think it's, um, uh, if I make for, for a real quick thing, just to follow oh, up on like that. Four hands up. Hold on. Who was, wait, hold on. Who was first? Was it Dylan or Frida or? Um... If, uh, if, if I actually just may interject here for a moment, maybe it's going to. Can, can kind of let the board make its decision too. I uh, this is currently my week of vacation. I was coming in for what I was hoping was going to be a relatively straightforward uh, license application. It looks like this is a little bit more complicated than I uh, okay had the time for today. So okay, I well, will. Uh, we have a quorum, so um, do with that information what you will when you folks decide to vote. But uh, you all have a good one. Best of luck, and I'll, I'll see you all in a week. All right. Bye, Dylan. Thank you. <laughs> so, thank you. If I could just offer a suggestion. I mean, the thing I'm thinking about was that I wouldn't need to see Frida or Tom or next week if we were going to vote on this. I would. I think I'm kind of like Gaston. It's like I'm not terribly uncomfortable, but at the same time, I'd be a little more comfortable if a couple more things were were in. Uh -huh. um, so I think it's it's almost a question of, you know, what's the likelihood of us meeting you know, next Thursday, because if we are and we can hold a week, I think that would be, um, I think everybody would have a higher level of comfort, but I, I could I, vote today I, I, if I, if we really feel like we need to. Guess, that is, are we going to have a quorum? I, I mean, I'm, I, I'm, I'm happy to approve this. What I guess I, I, I don't feel comfortable with is sending an application to the ABCC where there isn't a commitment letter that's signed and the only conditions are, you know, conditions that are easy to, to meet. So, I, I, I don't think we should be approving a license where we don't know it's going to work out. I'm not concerned about anything else on the application besides the, the real estate. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, I, Steve, were you contemplating sending this to the ABCC before there's a commitment letter? Um, no, I mean, I think that would be a, uh, an essential part of that. Then, then I'm fine. I mean, if, if we're not going to send it on to the, you know, to the state until um, that's clear, then I, I'm fine approving it on, on those conditions. Today, right now? Yeah, right now. Okay, yeah, I think that seems, is that all right with you, Doug? Yeah. Yeah, and just so we, okay, are you sure? All right, oh, sorry, Frida, did you have something to say? You have your, your hand button. I, yeah, I was just gonna say that I do actually believe that we have the certificate of good standing from the DOR. Okay, good. Okay, um, would, you, would you forward that to Steve? Can you get a copy of that to Steve? Uh, yeah, I'll forward it to, I'll, I believe I'll re-forward it to him, Tom. I, I had thought that I had sent it to Tara, right, um, so I'll re-forward it to yeah, Tom. Frida, and it's can... from the, the, it's from Mulva. It's yeah. from, it's from the seller and we need. No, I know. I already got that from him. Did you get the DUA as well? 
That I'm, I, I think so. I, I don't know. I'll have okay. to go Send back. Send me and what look. you have. I'll take a look. I'm I pretty sure we definitely have the DOR one. Okay. I'm not sure on the DUA. Okay. So I'll send what you have off just, the just to let everybody know. Okay. All right. Great. So everyone, is that, is there anything else on this? Are we, and everyone is commissioners comfortable voting on this today? Okay. Is there a motion to approve the transfer uh, of license from Cush, Cushman to Cushwoman to uh, free? Move, move to approve uh, the transfer of uh, the license subject to remaining items on the application and uh, subject to, uh, you know, holding it from the state until the real estate is cleared up. Excellent. Second. All right, great. Let's take a vote. Any further discussion? No? All right. Guest on? Aye. Doug? Aye. And I vote aye. That is three to zero with two absent and it is approved. So thank you very much. Thank I'll coordinate with you to get him what he needs. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks, thank Tom. Thank you. Good All seeing right. everyone. Bye, Frida. Thank Good you. Luck. Thank you, Frida. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, so on to our discussion topics. So I don't know how much we want to, I guess, ABCC, DPH advisory, Delta 8, and Delta 9 THC products. Um, everybody saw that, um, that notification we went over at the last meeting and... Um, are there any questions, Steve? Is that letter going to go out to all of the, the licensees? Yes, that you? will. Yeah, they, they, they have received that off from the ABCC, but I will be restating that to everybody. Okay, all, fantastic. All those updates. Great, thank you. Uh, um, let's see, where are we next? Um, ABC, oh, take out alcohol and outdoor dining areas. Is that something so, we were going to- I believe Hallie had requested we put that in the agenda for today, but she is not She's here, not so here. maybe we can table discussion on that until our next- uh, all right, it is tabled. Um, marijuana regulation, anything new? There is nothing new on that. Okay. Um, where are we up to? Liquor license application supplement statement. There and that's is. one of yours? No update on that in this time. Okay. How is rental registration and the rental, rental appeals process coming along? We do have the uh, application out and we have been uh, taking some, so that is coming along and the appeals we will uh, have to discuss that as well so oh, right because uh dylan was supposed to get us the um zba appeals process literature uh for us to review yes right. okay so that brings us to discussion topic g upcoming meetings and agendas so uh the did is doing this um that they might have something ready to go next week and there's a question of whether we'll be meeting next thursday on the the 29th, the 27th, or after that. This is for a July 4th event. Yes, so that it's on July 5th. So, so um, oh, okay. Okay. if the board would like to accommodate that, a meeting day could be set. I checked with the applicant. He said he'd be broadly flexible. Okay. So, is anyone? Would we have a quorum for next Thursday? Can anyone? I will be here. Um, I guess. I'm on vacation, so if um, if we need my quorum, I, I'd rather try to find uh, maybe like a morning time where we can do one of those five minute okay. uh, meetings. All right. Yeah, we, we do not have to set a date certain for this. Um, oh, we don't. Okay. All right. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, I think I'm available. I mean, I've got, you know, stuff and, <laughs> you know, I think we can, if we don't use a Thursday at 530 time frame, if there's some other time, like that's on it, if it's you know Thursday at eight thirty a.m. or I don't know eleven thirty a.m. or whatever, I I can probably make it work. Okay. So I think okay. we just gotta figure out what what it takes to get a a quorum. I can send that another one of those polls about meeting times. Okay. Yeah. I would, um, and then what do we put on the? Is there any any so that's the only real real license applications coming up that you know about so far, Steve? Is there we do else? have a uh, a full liquor license transfer application coming up. I think that we will be taking that on the eleventh. Uh, okay. Um. All right. I won't be here on the eleventh. I'll be and I'll be actually traveling, so I won't be reachable really. But um, we can worry about that later. I'm sure hopefully others will be here. Um. So it's just this other. 
this temp, um, short term license and then the big one on the 11th. Um, and then I don't know if there's anything we want to put on under discussion topics. Or just keep the same and we'll just go through them again. Okay. All right. Um, wonderful. So topics not reasonably anticipated 48 hours. Any topics? Yes. Doug. One quick thing. Um, and you may have discussed this, you know, I'm going to be my term is officially up on 630. Um, and I think I'm going to cycle off as much as I love you guys and love doing this work. You know, I've been on the board for the full six years it's been here. So um, there's a, and I don't know if they still have this as part of the policy in town of trying to keep it to six years or so before you rotate off of a board. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's, you know, it's time for, for other folks to have opportunity. But in the meantime, until I'm actually replaced, I'll continue to come and continue to vote because I can carry on in that role uh, that's my understanding. Um, oh. So I will until, you know, the manager finds a replacement and can get it to the council for approval and, and that sort of thing. And Gaston may be in the same circumstance as me. I'm not 100%. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I guess I hadn't thought it through as much as you have, but I did um, say that, yeah, it's, it's time to, to cycle off because I'm, it uh, looks like I'm going to be chairing the housing trust. Congratulations, um, by the way. Thank you. It's yeah, it's a lovely board to be on. I've been on that one too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a good chance to 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 um, to try that out. And so, um, but in, in the meantime, until we have folks, then uh, yeah, I mean, I'll I'll uh, coordinate with Steve and, and see what what makes sense. Okay. Great. Well, you know, I'm sorry. So sorry to see you both going, but um, totally understand. And um, all good things come to an end. Yes. Yeah. All right. So, but at least you'll, you'll be around for a little bit. So yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, good to know. Um, all right. If there are no other topics, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. All right. Is there a second? second? Thank you. Gaston, take a vote. Doug. Aye. Oh, Gaston. Aye. And I vote aye. That is three to zero, two absent. And we're adjourned at five, six oh six PM. Thanks everybody. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you all. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Steve, thanks.